Hello there, my name is Thomas and in this video I'd like to show you how to do basic publishing with Radii. On my left I have Rhino with Grasshopper open and on my right I have a Radii viewer running locally. This viewer could be running anywhere in the world. To do any publishing we need a connection component so let's bring that in from the far left and I'm going to create a toggle so I can turn it on or off. If I right click the same component I can choose a nickname, this is the name that others will see when I broadcast. I can choose a channel to broadcast on, and I can also choose a sub-channel to broadcast on. This is optionally, but I'll create a sub-channel called Thomas. Now I need to select what to publish. I want to publish some geometry that requires a connection and some geometry. I'm going to use the pipeline to select that geometry, and I'm going to choose all the B-Refs in the scene and connect it to geometry. So now we're ready to connect, so let's do that. Immediately you can see it's connected to the channel called public.thomas. And this means that every radii viewer listening on this channel or every grasshopper component listening on this channel will receive the content that I broadcast from now on. So let's connect it to a radii viewer on the right here. I just need to make sure that I'm listening on the same channel, public.thomas. I can also choose a nickname for my viewer or I can just connect. So now those two are connected and the minute I start to move around, I can see my position in Rhino being broadcasted. So let's draw some geometry. And it's being sent immediately to the radii viewer. The first thing you'll notice is that it's black. Because it doesn't have a material, it receives its color from the layer. And the default layer in Rhino is black. So let's choose another layer, orange. And now I can start to populate the scene with geometry from Rhino. And I can move around it. That's it for how to do basic publishing in radii.